Okay, right here is a 1955 Euclid 4FFD. The 4FFD was first introduced by Euclid in 1951. Its brother was the Model 1 FFD, introduced in early 1949, which was Euclid's first twin-engine tandem drive off-road truck. Now before we go and take a closer look at this truck, let's talk a little bit about the history behind the twin-engine design concept. Euclid first began experimenting with twin-engine power in 1946. The concept of using two engines to power a machine was made possible by the Allison Division of General Motors Corporation with the development of the Torquematic Drive System. The first Euclid product to feature the twin-engine concept was the model 50 FDT-120W bottom dump hauler, and the second was the model 51 FDT-12SH scraper. At the time, there was no single engine that was both small and lightweight enough to generate the necessary output to power a truck of this size without affecting the truck's payload capacity. So what Euclid engineers did was design a twin-engine truck that utilized two engines mounted side by side to double the truck's power. And the first truck of this design was the Model 1 FFD, which was the largest hauler offered by Euclid between 1949 and 1950. Now let's go and get a closer look at this big Euc. One FFD was GM powered, utilizing twin Detroit 671s, rated at 190 horsepower each, that worked together to produce 380 horsepower for this truck. In 1956, the One FFD's 671 engines were upgraded to produce 436 horsepower for the truck. The 4 FFD was Cummins powered, utilizing twin NHB 600 four cycle inline six cylinder diesel engines rated at 200 horsepower each that worked together to develop 400 horsepower for this truck, which you can see looking right under the hood here. The way these engines work is very simple. The left engine powers the front axle and the right engine powers the rear axle. From underneath here, you can get a good view of the front axle on this truck. And from here, you can get a good view of the front suspension. The 1 FFD and the 4 FFD both featured full-floating thrust-mounted leaf spring suspension in the front and rear. This truck features manual steering with a Vikings hydraulic booster. And if you look right here on the side by the cab, you can see one of the air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. In late 1954, both the 1 FFD and 4 FFD received redesigned operator's cabs. Now unfortunately, the cab door on this truck is locked, so I will not be able to take you up inside and show you the operator's station. If you look right here on the side of the cab door, you can see where it says, Euclid. Mounted in between the operator's cab and the dump box on this truck sits a 200 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. And if you look on the side of the tank, you can see the little gauge to show the operator how much fuel is inside the tank.
located directly below the diesel fuel tank on the left side of this truck mounted to the superstructure is a 38 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank which you can see right here. Both the 1FFD and 4FFD were rated at 34 ton capacity or 20 cubic yards. From here you can get another good view of the twin Cummins engines that power this truck. And on the right side of this truck, here you can see the second air intake and air cleaner for the engine. On the right side, here you can see the air tanks. Now let's take a closer look at the drive system on this truck. Each engine on this truck connects to its own semi-automatic transmission and torque converter to power one of the rear axles. This design is known as the Allison Torquematic Drive System, which consisted of an Allison Series 500 torque converter which automatically adjusts for variations in load and road conditions and two three-speed full power shift planetary type Allison TG 607 RM Torquematic transmissions which you can see right here. These transmissions feature hydraulically actuated multiple disc clutches, which allow the truck to be shifted under full load and power. This system eliminated engine synchronization problems and allowed the operator to shift two transmissions together simultaneously. Mounted in the center of this truck, in between the superstructure, are two Euclid three-stage double-acting hydraulic hoist cylinders for the dump box. The two rear axles on this truck operate independently of each other and are spring mounted about a central pivot point to produce bogey action. This truck has a 15 foot 6.5 inch wheelbase. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 4FFD, this truck measures 11 feet 7 inches tall from the ground to the top of the canopy over the operator's cab, 11 feet 5 inches wide, and 31 feet 7 inches long. The overall empty operating weight of the 4FFD is 35.5 tons. Euclid also offered two single-engine versions of its 34-ton FFD series hauler, known as the Models 2 and 3 FFD, which were introduced in 1950 and 1951. The only benefit that the single-engine versions offered was a substantially lower capital cost. In total, over 360 1FFDs and over 164 FFDs were built by Euclid. In fact, 
the 1FFD was Euclid's best-selling FFD series hauler of all time. In 1957, Euclid launched the new 9 and 10 FFD as the replacements for the older 1 FFD and 4 FFD. But there she is, a 1955 Euclid 4 FFD.